Chica de las Estrellas. I've been reading tarot cards since the age of seven. So you ready for a reading? Come on, step into my parlor. Now, in, in the tarot cards, we'll all find scary cards. In the movies, they love to show you the devil and death. There's also the tower. You'll see this show up in the movies a lot, too. The challenging cards, I like to call them. I don't like to call them spooky or scary cards. And I don't remove them from the deck when I do readings. I use all of the cards. Think of your favorite image of air element and mix the cards. Mm -hmm. okay. This last week, you were a little bit tired and you needed more rest than you got. The Four of Swords. Swords are communication, but in this card you can see that uh, the image of you is laying down, relaxing. Now, in your mind is another page, and this one is holding money and material things. So, where are you going to put this money that comes to you <laughs> as you get more money? You've been living with a certain amount of money for a certain amount of time. So then, maybe now is a good time to start thinking about, where am I going to invest this extra money instead of just gobbling it up? Yeah. <laughs> Windfalls can often find their way there. Be clear about what you want to manifest. This is the card of very positive manifestation. The Ten of Cups is a happy couple with children. doesn't mean that you have to become that. But what it symbolizes, because these are very ancient images, and so they were very ancient thinking, not our modern thinking. Oh. It's, it's one thing to say I'm not going to focus on the negative, but it's another thing to put a conscious effort on focusing on the positive. Okay, that's easy enough. In the, in the home position, this means your physical house. This is the symbol of cleaning out the closets, oh. and cleaning off the top of the refrigerator. And in that cleaning and sorting through, we can often find things that we no longer need and we can give away. And then we have cards like what you got for your final, which is one good? of the great cards, the Wheel yes. of Fortune. Yes. Yes. The thing about the Wheel of Fortune <laughs> is, and it came out right side up, which is an awesome symbol. This means you have amazing amounts of possibilities. Oh. So much coming to you. And I want you to be able to stop the Wheel of Fortune where you want it. Did you ever spin a wheel like at a carnival? Oh, yeah. And you watch yeah. it go around and go, oh, oh I want that one that says yeah. $20,000, you know, and then it ends up on like a free gift. Right. Right? Uh, so how can you really focus your mind? Remember this one? This card, and we talked about focusing your mind on the positive? positive. No, Before you even spin the wheel, you have to see yourself getting what you want. all yours.